Justin Canoe. I'm a dad in Williamson County. <clears throat> Didn't plan on speaking, but here we go. Uh, first of all, critical race theory is not in our schools, and it never was. And the people here to complain about it did not know what it was six months ago and had never heard of it. That's why they're going after diversity, equity, and inclusion instead and trying to pretend they're the same thing. They aren't. And frankly, there aren't many communities around the globe that need DEI more than this one that we live in. On another note, I'm a dad of a new kindergartner, and her first day was right after the chaos last week. She went to school and was one of just a few kids in her class wearing a mask, which made her ask me why she had to. My answer was because we want to take care of other people. She's five years old, but she understood that concept. And it's disappointing that more adults around here can't seem to grasp it. I asked a pastor friend of mine, and he was very clear there's no actual biblical justification for using the Bible to get out of a mask mandate passed by a majority of this elected board. But thousands are doing it anyway, calling it a religious exemption, which is frankly just sad. Avoiding masks is not in the Bible, but taking care of others is. And now today we have Governor Lee's executive order to allow opt-outs, which is government overreach undercutting a local decision. If you only like democracy when it goes your way, you don't actually like democracy. Thank you. We, we know who we you know are. Who you are. We know we who you are. are. You, are. you can we leave freely, but we will find you, and we know you who you never are. Be allowed to we Ladies and gentlemen, that's disgusting, and shame on you that voted for that. You want to wear snot on your face all day? That's your choice. My kids will not. Science has proven that uh, you want your kid to wear a mask, that makes you feel good. That's fine. You do you, boo, but don't force that science, not that non-science, satanic BS on our kids. Actions have consequences. If you vote for this, we will come for you in a non-violent way. We will vote you out. If you own a business, we will boycott your business. In the past, you dealt with sheep. Now prepare yourself to deal with lions. The real part of the clown show is that you all think that you actually have the authority to mandate this. Because um, there are these books that I have, and I have them as a gift for you. The Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the Federalist Papers, and also the Bible. And these guarantee my freedom and yours and our children's to breathe Time. oxygen. Time.